Okay, so what I want to go over again is the, um, the standards for your engineering process, okay? So everybody look on the paper with me. The next generation science standards for the engineering design, you're going to define the criteria and constraints of a design problem with sufficient precision to ensure successful solution, taking into account relevant scientific principles and potential impacts on people and a natural environment that may limit possible solutions. Okay, so this is what you're doing with both your biomedical engineer for breast cancer research in the classroom and the get a grip. Okay, the next one has to do from molecules to organisms. Everything has cells, your breast has cells, so does your arm, and you're, you're looking at the paper, not at me. From molecules to organisms, structures and processes use arguments supported by evidence for how the body is a system of interacting subsystems composed of a group of cells. You have to know how your arm works. You have to know the anatomy of your arm, okay? Because I'm going to ask about that, okay? Um, as far as the breast tissue is concerned, I've been working with them diligently, so they're very well versed on that tissue structure. Um, next one, conduct an investigation to provide evidence that living things are made of cells, um, either one cell or many different numbers and types of cells. And then, of course, we go into all the common core for language arts, reading anchor, support analysis of science and technical text. So you should have done an expansive research on your projects. Um, write arguments to support claims with clear reasons and relevant evidence. When I ask you questions about your design, you must be able to articulate the evidence behind it. Common core standards for technology, you're using what kind of technology? The 3D printer, your laptops at home, your smartphones, um, a printer, all right? So technology is a wide arrangement of a whole lot of things. First question, um, who want to read a DOL for me first? Um, go ahead, Oifa. Um, DOL, I will design a model using the engineering design process and synthesize the engineering design process by completion of the independent epic test with four question marks. Okay, so since we're talking about the engineering design process, let's go to number one. Let's see if you can recall what we already did. What is the purpose of testing the prototype in controlled and actual conditions in the EDP. What step is that? What number is it in the engineering design process? And what is the actual statement of the step? Alexandra. Um, the step is step nine, test and evaluate the design using specifications. Okay, test and evaluate the design using specifications. Everybody agrees? Yes. yes. Okay, that's correct. Let's go for the next one. What are the biomedical engineers considering when reassessing the validity of the design criteria and making adjustments to the design brief if necessary? Joey. The step is number 10 and it's refine the design. Refine the design, and I know that you guys are working on that today, okay? And a lot of you maybe should be working on refining, I don't know, but I'll find out tomorrow. Um, let's go to number three. When does the engineer determine how the item will be produced and what type of packaging will be needed? Naziah? Creating or making the solution. Okay, the reason why I chose Naziah is because she's actually creating the packaging for their prototype right now. Okay, so that was um, create and make the solution, or make the solution. Okay, last one. When does the engineer present the team's final solution and develop written reports in the EDP. Um, Tiara. Step 12, communicate processes and results. Okay, now when you design, start designing your board tomorrow, what do you think is the first thing you need to put on your board as far as um, the step for the engineering design process? What would be the first thing, Oefa? The problem. The problem. Okay, so everybody must have a problem statement first to put on the board. That's the first thing that goes on there. Okay, everybody good? We're back to work.